All right, so I'm here on KSAN 2, which is a modded version of the map, it seems. It's otherwise standard KSAN map layout. We got 42 bots, and we got probably fucking even more vehicles than any of us are going to need. But it's cool, it's a part of the uh, map pack of the um, Hello Clan Mission Possible former server. So now uses their event server, I believe. Oh, okay, so there is a couple more buildings here. Changed out. This base is a bit of a different layout. I was wondering why it needed to be a fully fledged map rather than just to patch the original map. Fair enough. So I'm not too sure of the original creator, but it's pretty cool. It's going to be a little bit more of an action pack case, and because one of the problems is it's a little bit too big for infantry play, and because it is such an open map, you know, helis in particular really just fucking destroy infantry. Oh shit, locked on the wrong thing. Oh, shot him out anyway, it didn't matter. So yeah guys, this is k 2, it's a part of the uh, map pack that I've got on the game tracker link to the server, so if you jump on the game tracker um, site for the server, you'll be able to find a link to both this map pack as well as the installers for the World War 2 and World War 2 extended mods that are running on the server now. Um, I do have all the default uh, Vietnam maps co-op running as well, but I just thought I'd add all this content because it just gives us all a little bit more to do for those of us that have been playing for a little bit longer and aren't really afraid to you know, install custom content. Down you go, big fella. Oh, that's right. There's no armor piercing on heavy ground vehicles. We're gonna have to use that. Which is not impossible. There we go. So it looks like they've got ARVN rather than US Army models for the uh, Allied side. Or well, the NVA side. Um, I don't think it's any different to what it regularly is. But yeah, there's a fuckload more vehicles. There's some vehicles that you don't normally have on this map. Um, some of the buildings are actually changed out for different models. Oh fuck, how did I miss that? I'm stupid. I didn't want to hit myself. But it doesn't actually really matter because there's no friendly fire on the server, but it's... Old habits die hard. But man, I feel embarrassed now missing that. Alright, I'll put the RPG away before I embarrass myself any further. What's this old thing? This looks like it was built for fucking World War II. It sounds like it as well. Oh, it drops an napalm. Okay, I assumed it was going to drop regular bombs. I probably missed everything then. And again. But yeah, check it out guys, go to the game tracker link for the server um, if you want to try and jump on the custom side of it. <laughs> I wrote myself off there. 
That's pretty cool. There's helis down now at this base. And so the reason why this has got to be a standalone map rather than just a KSAN uh, map update is, yeah, there's more actual object assets way down this way. The players wouldn't actually be able to see all this changed um, without the map. So it'd be really awkward, you know, if it was done as a patch. Even though it would be doable, um, it'd be ugly as fuck because players wouldn't actually see like, the water tower or anything. Or this, like the helipad or anything. I think that might even be raised. I'd literally see this floating in midair. These helipads that have been raised. Whoa, that thing's massive. Can we shoot it down? I don't know if I get a bit closer. No need. It <laughs> got shot down already. But yeah, this is K-San I don't know who the original creator was. But jump on me Vietnam server and check it out. Play one last life and uh, try one of the actual custom maps. K Sand 2, but it's more like a pre sequel in terms of the layout. More like a prequel, really. So I should say. Down you go, big fella. Might as well switch maps. What else we got here? 